Hello friends, welcome back. It's the ever faithful quartermaster, the one and only incurably crafty arm. And today's video, I'm really excited to show you guys another sword that I've made. Um, this one again, full disclosure is not for kids. This one is metal, but this one isn't a traditional blade and it is actually for LARPing. Um, I'll explain in a second. There is a story behind this and everything like with most of my pieces. Um, because as I've mentioned before in uh, previous videos, um, my wife and kids and I are all uh, really interested in LARPing. Um, a lot of our friends, a lot of our relatives, stuff like that are really interested in LARPing. Now, um, to, to me, my wife is the queen, you know, of our household, of my life, of my heart, as that should be in any, in any relationship, especially when you share such uh, incredibly fun common interests. Um, and her LARPing characters are usually, um, depending on, you know, who our community is and stuff, are usually uh, Dark Elf, uh, Wood Elf, or a Fairy. Um, so everything I make her is like sort of nature-based. Um, in a previous video, I showed two spears that I made. The Dark Elf one, Thorn, is, uh, is a rose spear, it's sort of its thing. That one is also hers. Um, so today, I am proud to present Hive, which is obviously bee-based. And Hive was a blast to make. Um, explain in just a second what all of it is made out of, like normal. Um, but I have to express that the reason this one was so much fun to make is because I messed up a lot. So it was a huge learning experience for me, and that is always always the best outcome I could ever hope for is to have had fun, but learn as much as possible. So without further ado, um, as you can see, sheath matches the, um, the hilt and everything. And I used a super, super, super old screwdriver in making this. And I, I loved it. The, the screwdriver, the head of it was a flathead. It had chipped off like probably before I was born. Um, so I had the handle for a long time. It's still good sturdy metal going through all this and everything, but um, I really like that it has that sort of like honey look to it. And then of course the black and yellow stripes throughout the whole thing. Um, you'll see here, the hilt looks a little wonky. It's a little squishy looking. Um, there's a bolt here and a bolt here. And I used a lot of fabric to try to um, pad and cover those bolts so it'd be a little bit more comfortable. So it does look a little wonky, but grip-wise, it's it's really nice. And I like that it goes with that. Um, it still kind of looks like it came off of a bee. Um, it's made from, again, metal from the filing cabinet. I'm still working on taking that thing apart. <laughs> um be surprised it goes a long way shame they're not worth much in scrap value but um essentially yeah just bent and folded things until it was down to the spikes i wanted hammered it all nice and flat bent it some more flattened it some more um and you'll see here these spikes if i can get the lighting just right you'll see how i made them um i cut two straight lines into the flat metal going straight in and then just folded the corners in and then pressed it down. And that's all I did to make those spikes. If those snap off here, where the metal is the weakest, underneath that would just be a sharp blade. So it does serve a few extra purposes, but for these reasons, it is very sharp. Um, you know, obviously that would hurt like hell to get hit with. So this is not for kids, but this is Hive. The sword of the queen bee. Um, the sheath was the part that I had the most fun with. As I've uh, shown in other videos, um, or in, another, in my last video actually, my sword obviously goes in its own sheath, and that sheath is made out of recycled uh, like bot soda bottles and stuff. This one, though, is actually metal, like a real traditional sheath. Um, it also came from the filing cabinet. And the reason was because I tried doing the bottle thing like with my sword and some of my other swords and these teeth on here, the spikes on, on hive get caught. 
super easy on the slightest ridge. So I needed something that would be smooth all the way down the inside of the sheath. But I also like to wrap these in fabric and design them and make them look cool. So um, I wanted to make sure that when I pulled all that nice and tight that I wasn't tightening it around this at all because with swords, sometimes you can still work with that um, when they have a flat traditional blade. But with this, it would dig in. It, it did dig in and I kept ripping the guts out of the sheath. So a lot of trial and error later, I learned a lot, um, both in crafting a new blade and crafting a proper metal sheath. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, that is Hive, the bee blade, queen bee blade. I appreciate all of the uh, views, all of the support, all of the feedback. Like ratings are Always, always, always appreciated, but even more so are your opinions, so feel free to leave comments in the comment section down below. I look forward to seeing any pieces you guys have come up with and hearing any ideas, things you guys might want me to craft, or just in general, things you think you'd like to see me do a little different. Thank you again for watching. Remember, like always, safety first, but don't forget to have fun.